this today is the eighth day of June. I'm just gonna show you the F and M at its best. This is it right here. You can see the mountains and mountains of debris. This is a trash key dump site. And Dr. Hubert Minnis is so brilliant. A lawyer that got troubled winning a case in the Marsh Harbor Court is responsible for making a mess of all of this. They had the Americans down here and they had this place so uniform. But look at it. When you give a, a lawyer a contract to manage a huge dump site that has no experience. All they brought to the table is that they know Dr. Minnis and they F and M and what a mess. Um, those of you that was watching me and you saw me uh, did some videos down here before of this place. Uh, you could have literally eat off the ground down here. But now, look at the mess. And look at the amount of stuff. Look at the amount of mess. Mountains. Mountains of debris on trash. They look like, they, instead of they going backwards, the, the, the ignorant people that bring in the, the, the garbage closer to the road. That's, that's no management. We got all this property going this way. They should be going back there. But they come in to the road. They're feet from the main road. So you could smell all this garbage right on the main road when they should be going further in the bush. But they come in this way. That is lack of management. That's just lack of common sense. But this is trash key, baby. It is the people's time when the debris is coming across the street. And I can't figure, uh, I was gonna say I can't figure who managing it, but it's a lawyer that run for the F&M on the Hubert Ingram term and another Hubert, give it a contract to clean up Spring City. Now she in one of the second or the second busiest dump site in the Bahamas. A lawyer that got trouble navigating themselves through the courts of the Bahamas is in charge of a dump site. Only in the Bahamas this could happen and only if you're f &M, baby. The machine got problem keeping up with it. Look at this. Just want to bring you up close and personal so you can see what's going on here. It's one of the good things that happened here after the hurricane that Cable Bahamas is putting a trench it's a trench, look like it go from one end of Abaco to the next. And uh, I don't know why Bahama Power and Light don't get that smart and put their wires down in a trench like this so they don't have to worry about it. But here is this huge, this is a huge undertaking. This is what you call a massive task. One of the biggest dump sites in the history of Abaco. One of one other place is bigger than this. That's the mess they made of Spring City. You imagine you go as a lawyer without any experience in running a dump site and you could sit down with a prime minister and, and edge this deal? I show you, I tell you this prime minister is absolutely an idiot. That First thing you gotta ask, uh, what is your take on this? Have you ever managed a dump site? And do you know the magnitude of running a dump site like this? 
all she brought was that she's F and M. And look at it. It all turned into a mess. And they're so ignorant. Instead of they take it further in the back to the farm, look at it, they start to bring it clearing land to bring it close to the road. This is the road right here. That's where my car is. You see how close they are to the road? Common sense. If they had half of what I call common sense, this stuff should be going further in the back of the pine yard, but they ain't got that kind of brains. What we call this common sense is hard, hard for some people that get trouble navigating themselves through the courts, the magistrate court in Marshaba. That's where they come from Nassau. Couldn't find no job, couldn't find no work in Nassau. So they come to Abaco. And boy, have Abaco been good to them. It ain't take much to manage dump. But so far, they ain't doing a good job. Man, what a disgrace to what this place used to be. I was down here four months ago when the Americans was here. They had all the copper, all the wood, all the steel, all the aluminum, all the wood, everything methodically in order. But I don't know what happened here since that. What happened here since that is our brilliant prime minister, the most honorable prime minister, give a lawyer a contract to manage what they call, they hate for me to call it a garbage dump, but it's all garbage. They call it debris. Yeah, it's a debris, all right. Debris, all right. Look at this stuff. I could do this all day and uh, you wouldn't appreciate this video until you've seen my last video when I was here last. And it was like, wow. And now you say, whoa. <laughs> This car, only car I can get this. Only news report here. Left. Here. This used to be a food mart where I'm standing here. Guys, the only uh, reporter that dare to stick his nose in the stench to bring you a live report by WCAY in the dump. And that is the essence of this weightless man. It hurts my heart to see the weightlessness of this government. When you can manage dump, they bring in the dump in the road in Treasure Key. They come in closer to the road. When they got all that pine yard over there, they come in closer to the road got the whole place smell. Green Turtle Key people gonna be able to smell the stench from this garbage dump if the wind is out the right direction. So when these Kai cares, when the government of the Bahamas hired a lawyer, give a lawyer a contract to manage one of the biggest dump site in the history of Abaco. And boy, does it smell. I'm over here. You're live with Kai in Treasure Key on the Prime Minister and the lawyer tying dumpster debris site that I call a garbage dump. You're live with Kai and it smells like garbage.